This is Sarah with RegisterNurseRN.com and in this video I'm going to demonstrate how to assess the chest. And if you would like to watch a complete nursing head to toe assessment you can access this card up here in the corner or in the YouTube description below. Now to do this skill what you'll need to do is you'll need to perform hand hygiene, provide privacy to the patient and tell them what you will be doing. And you'll need to grab your stethoscope. So let's get started. We're going to inspect the chest. We're looking for any abnormalities like lesions or any wounds, anything like that. We're also inspecting the patient's effort of breathing. Is it really labored? Are they using those accessory muscles to breathe? Also, we're looking at that anterior posterior diameter. So turn to the side like that. And you're looking for that barrel chest and it will be increased in patients with like COPD. They will have what's called the barrel chest. And now what we're going to do is we're going to listen to heart sounds and then we're going to listen to lung sounds. So first let's auscultate heart sounds and we are going to do this in five locations and they're based on where the valves are located. And I like to remember the mnemonic, all patients effectively take medicine. And the first letter of each word represents the valve except for effectively. So A would be aortic, P in patients would be pulmonic, effectively would be herbs point, and this is just the halfway point between the base of the heart and the apex of the heart, and there's no valve location there. And then T is for tricuspid, and then M is for medicine. So again, using the diaphragm, we're going to listen at the right of the sternal border at the second intercostal space, and that's going to be the aortic valve. So to find that second intercostal space, find the sternal notch, go down to the angle of Lewis, and then just go a little bit to the right and you're in the second intercostal space. And this will be the aortic. And we're just listening, lub dub, lub dub, S1, S2, and S2, the dub, is going to be louder in this location. Then we're going to go a little bit over to where the pulmonic valve is found. That's on the left of the sternal border at the second intercostal space. So we're just right across. Again, just listening to lub dub, lub dub, and S2 dub is going to be louder in this location. Then we're going to go a little bit down to the third intercostal space, and this is herbs point. And again, you can hear lub dub, but th there's no specific valve here. Then we're going to go down to the fourth intercostal space, and this is where the tricuspid valve is. And lub S1 is going to be the loudest at this location. Then we're going to go to the fifth intercostal space, mid clavicular line, and we're going to listen to the mitral valve. And again, S1 is going to be loudest here, dub. And there's something special about this site. This is the point of maximal impulse. This is where you're going to listen for the apical pulse. So we're going to set here and we're going to count it for one full minute. And a normal apical pulse in an adult should be 60 to 100 beats per minute and his apical pulse was 63. Then we're going to switch over with the bell of our stethoscope and we're just going to repeat in those locations and we're specifically listening for heart murmurs, so that swishing, blowing sound. So that's what we're going to listen to with that. And I did not hear any. Now let's listen to lung sounds. Now when you're listening to lung sounds, you're listening for abnormal sounds. And here are some samples of some abnormal sounds that you may hear. Crackles. Wheezes. A friction rub. or strider. First we're going to listen anteriorly and what we're going to do is we're going to listen with the diaphragm of our stethoscope and we're going to start at the apex of the lungs and we're going to always compare sides and just inch our way downward and assess all the lobes of that right and left lung. So first let's start up here, okay, and Ben I want you to take a good deep breath in and out. So here we go, apex. 
Okay, we're gonna compare sides. Then we're gonna move down to the second intercostal space, and this is gonna help us assess the right upper lobe and the left upper lobe. So, another deep breath in and out. Then we're gonna go down to the fourth intercostal space, and we're going to assess where our right middle lobe is and our left upper lobe, because remember the right lung has three lobes and the left lung has two lobes. So let's listen to our left upper lobe. We're just gonna go down a little bit more. Then we're gonna go mid axillary at the six, six intercostal space and we're gonna to listen to the right and left lower lobe. So if you just wanna to turn to the side right there, take a good deep breath in for me. Okay, other side. Okay, now let's listen posteriorly. Again, using the diaphragm of the stethoscope, you're gonna start listening at the apex and work your way down. And one thing to keep in mind when you're listening back here, you have the scapula and you don't wanna listen over those because you won't be able to hear the sound. So you're gonna listen in between where the scapula and the spine are. So down in these regions right here. And again, we're just gonna compare sides and you can do this part at the end if you wanted to whenever you turn your patient over to look at their backside, but we're just gonna go ahead and do it now. So we're gonna start here in the apex. Compare sides. Then we're going to find C7, which is that vertebral prominence. It's the big ball right there. You can't miss it. And go down to about T3, and you'll be in between the shoulder blades, and go a little bit in between the shoulder blades and the spine right in there, and you're gonna assess the right and left upper lobes. Then from T3 to T10, we're just gonna inch around and we're gonna to listen to the right and left lower lobes. Okay, so that is how you assess the chest. And don't forget to watch that video on a complete head to toe nursing assessment. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos.